How's it going everybody, Batch of Pokemon here, and welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be opening the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. Finally, I did cancel my original order back in, uh, what was it, September or something? Because, well, I didn't get it for MSRP, it was being scalped at the beginning, but there, um, there was a reprint actually now in December, so... I finally got it for MSRP, which is what I said, if I get it for MSRP, I'll buy it, if not, then no big deal. But this is actually pretty cool. Uh, the, the promo cards have gotten pretty cheap from what I've heard, so that's nice. So if you don't plan on opening this box, uh, you can just pick up the promos if you want to. For kind of cheap. Let's see what we can get here. I actually don't know how to open this. Okay, I've opened this backwards. Apparently, you're supposed to open it like this. That's kind of odd. The magnet is kind of strong. It is similar to the um, Ultra Premium Collection from Celebrations. This is kind of different. I'm assuming this is the playmat, yes. I'm gonna unbox this later. Let me just get everything out of here. So we got some dice that are open, unfortunately. That would that would be what was rattling around in there, the, the dice that are open. We have, of course, two nice metal coins. I really feel substantial. These are really, really nice. The dice as well. Some really, really cool sleeves. They look really cool, but unfortunately, they are just the same, like, cheap ones that you get in an ETB. I... Well, these are fine. I just generally wouldn't recommend using them. You're much better off using, like, Dragon Shield ones or, like, KMC or anything, or even Ultra Pro. So if you want to protect your cards, then man, go ahead. Okay, so here are the boosters. All the boosters. A lot, a lot of boosters, which is what I like about this one. A, like, acrylic V-Star marker. Actually, let's put all of these gubbins back in here, I suppose. I'll keep the sleeves out because I might store them elsewhere. Put this one in. And the last one should have our promos, right? Oh, even more booster packs. Okay. Jesus. Jeez. That's a lot of booster packs. That is a lot of booster packs. If I can't get this, if I can't get this back in, there you go. So here are our promos. Really, really cool promos, of course. This one is from V-Star Universe, which we've just gotten, like, about a month ago. I'll open this up in a second. And, oh, okay. I might have underestimated how much packs we've gotten. Also, I found this coin. This is a really, really cool coin. This is incredible, because I actually unboxed this, because I store my coins elsewhere as well. But this is, this is an amazing coin. Metal. You have Charizard on there. That's a really cool coin. Okay. Let's get the booster packs put aside here. And get the Ultra Premium Collection, I guess, closed up. But then I'll... I think I'll roll out the, um... What should we call it? This playmat, and then I'll be right back. Yo, okay, check this playmat out, man. This looks amazing. Like, this is, this is, like, really cool. I might use this for a couple of videos, not even this one. As, like, a change of pace, you know, I usually use the... This Rayquaza one. But this one looks pretty, pretty nice, I have to admit. Okay. I have the, the bunch and bunch of booster packs over here. Like, this is... That might, that might be, like, half a booster box worth. And the promos, which I'm going to... Open right here. If I can get none, there you go. Alright, the code card. That's correct. There you go. Good luck to whoever gets that. And let's check out the promos. I've heard that some of them are in pretty bad shape. This one looks fine. Let's see. This one looks really good in terms of centering at a first glance. And the Charizard V-Star. I really want to pull this in, in uh, V-Star Climax, but I have it now in English. This, like, the promos are really, really cool. And, I mean, that's may that may be the main reason why you're buying this set, or this Ultra Premium Collection, but then again, if you really wanted these um, these promo cards, you can just pick, pick up all three of them for, like, how much, $30 or something? But, those are really cool. Of course, you get a bunch of booster packs, which we're probably gonna pull zero things out of, but let's get started anyways. Um, I'm happy to be proven wrong, of course, you know. Pulling something would be nice. Let's see what we have here. Horsey. Lickitung. Clefairy. Wurmple. Murkrow. Poliwhirl. 
And a Mimikyu, non holographic. Okay, V Star Marker. And a code card. There you go. Lost Origin code card. Non holographic for that one. So nothing in the first pack. But we'll still have plenty to go. So many awesome sets like Astro Radiance, which is a favorite of mine. We have um, Evolving Skies, or more like Evolving Cries, depending on who you ask. Inkay, Jinx, Snover, Bronzor. Nice, we got a um, Trainer Gallery card, the Chandelure, and a McCargo non holographic energy. Put that in front. And there you go. Another code card. Astral Radiance is like one of my favorites from, from 2022, I have to admit. Because I've pulled uh, a lot of good things when I when I opened. Actually, no, the first one I opened, I didn't pull anything anything um, notable. But the second one, which was actually the one I, I opened on the channel, we pulled the um, the the Alga alternate art. We got a holographic Typhlosion and another code card. I mean, the code cards are fine and whatever if you play the online game, I suppose. But after opening a lot of Japanese products, like recently. I, I kind of grow tired of them, like, I, if, if these wouldn't be in here, I wouldn't even miss them, but I suppose it's it's nice that they do add them for the people that do play the online game. Thing. But here we go, Radiant Talucha, and nothing. Non-Holographic Shaman. Non-Holographic Shaman. We'll see when we get to the to the Evolving Skies, I've actually, I don't know where it is in, in which, um, uh, whatchamacallit, in which, um, stack, either in the right one or the left one. I don't know. I will figure that out in a second as we get a Glamiel, Puchiena, Swinup, a Do What, and another non holographic, Kizurian Avalog. Okay, Brilliant Stars. I don't know if I mentioned it in the beginning of the video, but I, I'm still feeling a bit under the weather. Maybe that's apparent in my voice, but fortunately I've caught a cold. If you would say. Nothing too serious though, so that's fine. I guess I will be fine. Oh nice, Mimikyu VMAX. Very nice. Put that over here as well. That counts as a pull. More Brilliant Stars. Actually, let's switch it up with a Fusion Strike. Had some really bad luck with Fusion Strike when it first came out. Basically put like nothing. Like absolutely nothing noteworthy. And I opened a lot of that set too, because you know it's Mew. Or like the, the main cards that you could pull were Mew cards. I didn't really pull anything too great from those. Electrode. Looks like that will continue. I do hope so. I've seen another post on um, on the Pokemon TCG subreddit the other day where someone opened like a case of um, Fusion Strike. I'm assuming booster boxes. A case of booster boxes, so basically like six booster boxes. And all of those were arrow boxes. And he pulled like, I don't know, like 20 alternate arts and like a whole table full of like rainbow, rainbow rare trainers and full art trainers. So there are certain like arrow boxes which basically have like a hit in every single booster or something crazy like that. And that would maybe explain, oh there we go, Evolving Skies. And that would basically, that may explain why I didn't get anything from any of my uh, Fusion Strike openings. Nothing at all. I have to say, to going back from opening V-Star Universe to now opening these random packs, well, it's a nice uh, change of pace. Also being able to, to read the cards as we pull another Trainer Gallery card, very nice. It's kind of strange, you know, like, if you open, like, too much of V-Star Universe, or, like, even VMAX Climax, you kind of get a bit, uh, what should I say? And kind of get used to having like a an awesome pull in every single booster, and then if you do, if you don't pull anything in here, you're a little bit disappointed. But you know it's fine. It's what ifs, what ifs. Crown Zenith is coming up 20th of January. Nice, full art trainer. Cool. As you know, I love the full art trainers. We have Chili, Cillian, and Cress. Very cool. That's a nice pull. Really appreciate that one. You're gonna be... They are gonna be sleeved up. First cut I will sleeve up that we pull. Evolving Skies. The infamous, infamous Evolving Skies. Well, we got a bunch of Evolving Skies. Like three... Three booster packs in here. 
Let's see what this will be. Will it be evolving skies or will it be evolving cries? I'm inclined to say the latter. It will probably be evolving cries. But we'll see, Dano, Nicket, and a Drekazult. Nice, okay, at least that's a pull. That's not nothing. That is not nothing. I'll take this over like a non-holographic any day of the week. Would we'll take that any day of the week. Let's go for the last brilliant stars on this side. We're already making good progress from this uh, from this booster. So that's nice, or not from the boosters from this ultra premium collection, which is nice to open. I do appreciate that. I'm still planning on sending um, some cards in for for grading over to CGC. May need to try it out, like as a European, what the process is, what kind of extra charges you will have to pay, which will be probably VAT and things like that when they get back. But there will mostly be a. Um, a full art trainer submission, actually. Mostly Japanese. Actually, I think it's only Japanese cards for the for the submission. I've collected a lot of Japanese um, trainers, full art trainers, from all the openings that we've done, and also bought a few. For example, the um, the lance from where was it? I think the lance was in Paradigm Trigger, where we ended up pulling the um, the Candace. Actually, we save. We'll save this um, Evolving Skies for last. Let's go for the Darkness Ablaze. And picked up... What else did I pick up? Pick up a... Um, what is it? Gardenia's Premonition or something like that? Like the Gar Gardenia card from one of the sets, which I've forgotten. And then also recently I've picked up the um, the Sharon's Care from V-Star Climax. No, V-Star Universe. <laughs> V-Star Universe. Nice, Charizard V, cool. And I've also pulled the Melanie, as you might have seen in the shorts video released a, about a week ago, I would say. And then I pulled, what else did I pull? I pulled a Boss's Orders. So I opened a, um, a Latias Jumbo Card Collection. Now, which is basically the same as the Mew one. It just has Latias and actually Nummel for the, for the Jumbo Cards. And I pulled like some crazy stuff. I pulled like a Hizoian Samurott, Boss's Orders, I pulled a Radiant Guard of War, and I pulled the Mew Art Rare. Oh, Rainbow Rare H slash VMAX. That's really nice. Nice. A Rainbow Rare. Very cool. From Vivid Voltage. Dude. Haven't opened much Vivid Voltage. This is really nice. There you go, Age Slash. Okay, two packs left. What we're gonna go for? We're gonna go for the Vivid Voltage, of course. We have to save Evolving Christ for last, so it can let us down one last time. As I struggle to get this pack open, there you go. Finally. Finally getting it open. Dust Skull, Pharaoh Seed, Riolu, Sandile, Dream, and... Yo, Pikachu, full art! Nice! Dude, maybe Vivid Voltage is the way to go. We've gotten like two pulls back to back from Vivid Voltage so far. Nice. That's the wrong type of Pikachu. You generally want want a Pikachu that's like this, the Rainbow Rare VMAX Pikachu. But come on, this is still really cool. Look at this. Look at the cheeky smile. Look at this little devil. Very cool. One last pack. Evolving Cries. I think I'm gonna be doing the card trick. But I don't know which way the, um, the, whatchamacallit, the code card is facing. So what I will do, I will do it off screen. I'll pull the code card away so I don't see it. And then we're gonna do the card trick. There you go. That's four to the front. Got the darkness energy. Digging gloves. Stormy mountains. Shellgun. Bergmite. Carvana. An Emolga, very cute. Slackoth just hanging around. Got a Glossifleur. We've got a Raihan. Is there anything after this Raihan, or is it just gonna be Evolving Christ? Let's see. It's Evolving Christ all over again. All over again. Well, still, I cannot complain. The playmat is really cool, which is one of the main reasons why I really wanted this one. Of course, I could play, I could pick up the playmat for much cheaper than that. The promos are really cool. They seem to be in like decent shape. Um, definitely not perfect, but definitely better from what I've seen. 
on like the subreddit on and Twitter. And, like here are the other polls that we've gotten. Of course, the full R Pikachu, Age slash V Max, Charizard V, Dracozolt, Chili, um, Silly and Crest, really cool. Um, two Trainer Gallery cards with the Chandler and Howden Doom. And the Mimikyu and of course the Radiant Halucha. Well, that was it. That was my opening of the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, then a thumbs up would be much appreciated. If you really loved the video, then please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more awesome content in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.